my friends, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really, really fun shop your closet. I love fashion and I love kind of keeping up with what's new, what's now, but we all know that fashion is very much influenced by the past and previous styles, previous eras, and that's what sort of makes it interesting, right? So I do actually have a lot of clothing in my closet, I think, that feels um, not vintage, but definitely hints at eras past. So I thought, wouldn't it be sort of fun to shop my own closet for looks that sort of are representative or whisper at eras past? And I actually do have a pretty extensive closet, you guys, and I was able to find looks to match most of the eras of the 20th century. So there's lots to get through, so let's get going. We are gonna start in the Edwardian era, which is 1901, all the way up to the start of World War I. So those looks, as you know, were kind of formal. It was also an area, an era of lavish excesses, right? Lots of lace and fancy things. So I thought that this top I have on right now is sort of a perfect representation of that style era. So I actually picked this up from Amazon Try before you buy. This is from the brand Guess. And it is a tulle and lace detail top. As you can tell, it has this high collar, which actually is surprisingly comfortable. And it's got this beautiful lace detail. There is a little cami that you're underneath it. And then look, of course, it has sort of these balloon sleeves. Because this shirt is so extravagant, I'm pairing it very simply because we're not going for kitsch or costume here. These are pieces I actually own and wear in real life. So I'm just pairing it here with a pair of dark wash skinny jeans to keep this look modern and fresh and not too over the top. But then of course I did have to add a great gold chandelier earring. These actually are just a little number from Target. So here's my first look. We have a lot to get through, so let's keep moving. All right, welcome to the 20s, you guys. Actually, this was surprisingly the hardest era for me to figure out a look. Um, I love that idea of the roaring 20s. I think we all love that great Gatsby sort of um, glamour, but I just didn't have a lot of looks or pieces that match that, but I did come up with something, so let me show you. So I have on this, it's a shimmery, long little tank top, which I think would be great like for a holiday party. I believe I picked it up in the Kohl's clearance rack for I'm thinking like $5. Anyway, it is sleeveless, but it is really cute and it does have sort of that longer waist kind of feel to it. So I'm just pairing it here with some black leggings and some, you can obviously any, you could wear a boot or you could wear a little slip on shoe. And then I think the accessories sort of make this fun. Obviously a really, a really shimmery, shiny chandelier earring and then this long layered shimmery necklace. And then I did add this little cardigan, which has this fun little fringe for a more daytime look or, you know, winter look. But obviously I think you could totally do this without the cardigan, like for a dinner out. I, mean, I think this actually is kind of fun and pretty. I've worn this. So after the roaring 20s came the 30s and I definitely think everything, including style became a bit more somber. And so when you look at clothing from the 30s, especially the late 30s, definitely longer end seams. I felt a little bit more subdued, a little bit more kind of church wear, so to speak. So the look I picked out for my late thirties look is this really pretty little, it's a blush blouse with some green floral pattern on it. And then it has this really cute little tie and a peplum, which I think gives it a little bit of a vintage flair. I picked this up at a thrift store for a couple dollars. And then I'm pairing with a longer skirt. It's like a Jersey material, it's black. Um, and it is a little bit of a sl slimmer silhouette. It feels like loungewear though. I need to wear this skirt more often. And then I just have a little wedge heel. So let me adjust the camera so I can show you this whole head to toe look. So here it is, longer skirt. And actually this is a look I definitely have never worn, but I should wear, I think it's pretty. I think it'd be nice for sort of a dinner out. I could totally wear this to a work meeting, especially in the summer where you wanna feel put together, but also comfortable and cool. And both of these pieces were thrifted. So this is one of those great outfits that probably cost me less than $10. Finally, for um, accessories, I went with pearls. Um, just a little pearl drop earring and then a little pearl necklace my husband gave me for a holiday. I don't remember when. So my 1940s look is inspired by none other than the lovely Katherine Hepburn. So obviously she definitely had some very feminine looks, but she also looked really, she made menswear look glamorous and feminine and fabulous. So this look is inspired by that. 
I have just taken a little white sweater vest here that I had and layered it over a crisp white shirt. And then I have it uh, with a pair of sort of brown taupe wider leg trousers. You guys can tell. And then I'm just wearing it with a little wedge slip on shoe. But I actually really like this look. I think this is definitely something I should wear for work. I think it looks really cute. And sweater vests are back in, right? I actually just bought this last year. And I think the white on white looks great. Okay, guys, we're going to hang out in the 40s and 50s a little bit longer. Apparently, those two decades have influenced my closet quite a bit because I found several looks. So next, it's actually just a really simple A-line black dress that I think feels very kind of Hollywood glamour, 1940s. This goes just to my knee. I'll back up. And then, of course, it's very flattering fit and flair. And then I think this neckline is very sexy and dramatic. And then you've sort of got the sheer paneling up here. And I actually thrifted this dress. There is no tag in it. Um, so I have no idea where this is from. I don't know this dress's story. Um, it, I don't think it's, it might be vintage, but I don't think it's like really old, but who knows, right? So the next item I have on is another dress, which feels very glamorous and 1940s era Hollywood. This is just a velvet midi dress. It's tiered. You can see it kind of goes to about my mid shin. I'm tall, so it might be longer on a lot of ladies. And then it sort of is fitted. And then it's got this really beautiful rouged sleeves and just a round neckline. And you guys, this was at Target last year, right? What a find. This feels very glamorous. I am... Um, I have worn this out to dinner a few times and I just, I think the gold color, the velvety fabric, just the longer skirt just makes me feel like I belong in 1940 Hollywood. So, okay. all right guys, we're moving into the 50s. So the next look I'm wearing is a bit more casual. I'm wearing this little poof sleeve sweater in a really like kind of lavender color with a pair of floral sort of palazzo pants. We back all the way up here. So these have a lot of nice movement to them and it, they're sort of high waisted and it just feels like a cute summer look that you might wear in 2022 or maybe in 1953, right? So I don't think we could talk about the 50s without a long pleated skirt. So here I'm wearing one. It just is below my knees and it's in a vibrant red color and it has a lot of mini pleats on it. And then I'm pairing in here with a little black faux wrap sweater which I think is very flattering uh, on the figure and then also feels really comfortable and I think looks good with this red. So this, all right guys, we're moving into the early 1960s and so this look is inspired by Mary Tyler Moore on the Dick Van Dyke show. I feel like she always wore, I'll step back, these really cute little kind of cropped skinny pants and so that's what I'm wearing here. These are from Maurice's actually. And then I just paired it here with this little Mac Studio blouse in blue and white with a, there's a little bit of like a charcoal gray stripe. And then it again has a tie and a peplum. And I realized I like peplums more than I thought because I have a lot of pieces in my wardrobe with peplums. And I feel like this, like I said, feels like Mary Tyler Moore in the early 60s, Dick Van Dyke, and definitely a cute work look for me now. Okay guys, we have just two more vintage inspired looks left. We are now in the 70s. And this look actually was pretty easy because a couple of years ago, I took a little trip to Door County, Wisconsin, which is a, a lake resort area. And I bought this little dress at a boutique there. And this obviously is an oversized floral print. Um, I do like the big splashy floral print. This is nice and silky and it's very pretty. Um, and it's super comfortable to wear. Um, I was just actually reading as well in InStyle Magazine that larger oversized prints are back. So this might be the season to pull this back out again. So last, last outfit in my styling different eras of the 20th century, we are in the 80s today. And I'm actually wearing a shirt I just actually picked up off walmart.com. This is from the Sofia Vergara collection. I was just sort of curious to try something out of that collection because a lot of YouTubers rave about her and this is on clearance for $10. So I picked this for my 80s look because it makes me think of like the early Madonna, Cyndi Lauper style, which was off the shoulder. So I'm wearing this little, it's like a real jewel tone purple top off the shoulder. And then I just paired it with some light wash denim, which I feel like was also very 80s. 
So how did I do? What did you guys think? That's my little trip through history in my closet. Those are actually all pieces I do wear. And actually there's a couple pairings that I think I'm gonna do again. So please consider subscribing to this channel if you enjoy this content. Also, comment down below so I can say hi and also so I can follow you back if you are also a YouTube creator. Anyway, thank you, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.